Upon these pages, words appear to spin a tale of fright and fear. As our tale unfolds, your blood will freeze. So please excuse the knocking knees. Will it be chilling, thrilling, or gory? Listen now as I read the story. Do ghosts exist? They think they do. So who's to doubt their point of view? Though loss is sad for those who breathe, those who died might also grieve. Oh. Oh man, what happened? I feel like I drank every bar in this town dry. Where am I? Am I in the library? Oh, sorry for being so loud. I just don't remember how I got here. Did you happen to see me walk in? Hello? Can you hear me? What the? I've been blind drunk before, but never to the point of x-ray vision. Are you seeing this? Maybe I should ask, are you seeing through this? Wow, you're really into studying. Hello? Can you hear me? Maybe I'm dreaming. Yeah, that's it. I must be dreaming. Okay, guy, it's time to wake up. Wake up now! Huh, a good smack to the forehead in the dream state usually wakes me up. Ow! Either I'm going to wake up or knock myself unconscious. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Sorry to cut this conversation short but I'm going to see if someone else can help me. Thank you for your time. No, no, don't get up. I'll see myself out. So, why are we at the library, Rob? For the books. I love to read, Mel. But ever since you got your e-reader, you said print was dead. When did I say that? Uh, the day you were throwing your books out the window of our apartment. You almost hit a mockingbird with to kill a mockingbird. I was only doing what the book taught me. It's not an instruction manual. At least I got us out of that neighborhood. You got us evicted. You're welcome. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. But can you see me? Did it... Did it get cold all of a sudden? Yeah. I feel it, too. Maybe they cranked up the air conditioning. What are you talking about? I don't feel the cold. That's not air conditioning. It feels like someone's walked over my grave. Actually, I don't feel anything. According to the folks at Ghostly Positioning System, cold spots can mean ghosts are present. Maybe... The library's haunted! Ghosts? Are you calling me a ghost? Can we go somewhere else? I'm starting to get creeped out. Am I dead? How am I dead? This can't be real. Fire! Fire! There's a fire in the building! Fire! There's a fire! Fire! Everybody out! The building's on fire! Fire! Oh, no. If I'm not dreaming, I really am dead. If I'm dead, what am I still doing here? Aren't I supposed to be going somewhere else? Like crossing over? Whatever that means. I've heard some ghosts can't move on because of unfinished business. Maybe I've got unfinished business? But I have no idea what that might be. Maybe I can jog my memory by visiting my old haunts. Oh, I've inappropriately punned myself. My all-time favorite place to eat. Well, maybe the food wasn't anything special. 
but the hostess kept me coming back, even though she barely noticed me. Maybe I need to settle something here. Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you talking to me? Yes, you. You know exactly who I'm talking to. So I'm not dead. No, you're not. Woohoo! You are not stepping one chicken foot any farther into this restaurant. Wait, what? You heard me. I heard you, but I don't understand you. You're not coming in here dressed like that. Hey, what's wrong with my... You're not talking to me, are you? You can't come in here dressed as a chicken and order the chicken. It looks like cannibalism, and it makes the diners uncomfortable. Ah, the coffee shop. I remember coming here to work on the novel I never finished while drinking insanely overpriced coffee. Hello, and welcome to Bank Breakers Coffee. Would you like to try our new flavor? This costs a latte. Ew, no, I don't like coffee. Do you have anything on the menu that's not coffee? You mean the menu that's been on that wall behind me the entire time you've been waiting online? I don't know, I didn't look at it. Yes, we have tea, juice, water, and soda. Are any of those not wet? I don't like wet things. They move too fast. I feel like they're pressuring me to hurry up. I never thought I'd relate to a glass of water. Do you have anything I could drink that's not wet? Hmm. Pudding? Ew, pudding is just too slimy. Besides, isn't that old people food? Bob, I'm going on my break. Your break isn't for another half hour. If I don't go on break now, Bob, I may end up violating one of the conditions of my parole. Wow, that was interesting. If I do have unfinished business, I hope it's not with that barista. Next stop on the quest for closure is the... Wait a minute. That guy looks awfully familiar. He looks a lot like... Like me! Weird, isn't it? Are you talking to me? You can see me? Weird, knowing you're dead, and yet seeing yourself alive and well out in the world. Would you... Would you mind coming out of the shadows, please? If you're the only person I can talk to, I'd like to see your face. Then prepare for things to get a whole lot weirder. Why do you also look like me? How common is my face? And why are you also transparent? How has my life gotten so complicated today? He got here! Didn't I tell you he'd pass by here on the way to the diner eventually? Wasn't that a great idea I had? You can tell me it was a great idea by tapping that like button. Well, surprise, surprise. You also look like a see-through version of me. But I look better, right? Like, don't you think I'm really pulling off this ensemble? You can tell me I am, or just give me a thumbs up. Hey, why not both? I really wish I were dreaming right now, instead of being dead. Well, you're definitely dead. You sure know how to kick a guy when he's six feet under. We're dead, too. I figured as much. Can you tell me something I don't know? For instance, why do we all look alike? And why, though we all seem to be dead, the guy across the street, who's also our spitting image, is alive and kicking? Is he some kind of cat person with six lives to go? We're his social media personalities. But don't you think I'm the best one? Smash that like button if you agree. Where his what? Social media personalities. We were what he presented himself as on social media over the years. I'm what some folks call a lurker. I was his persona when he first got on all the socials. 
when he was trying to figure it out. He didn't react or post much. He just watched and saw what other people did. Exactly. But then he ditched that creepy personality and switched to me because I'm so much better in every way. Everybody liked me because I was so fun and a real crowd pleaser. I was getting so many likes. By a show of thumbs, who thinks I'm fun? And where do I fit into all this? You were the latest persona. You were just yourself. You were the best of us, really. Come on. You can even give me a love if you feel you've given away too many likes. You were honest, truly friendly. But if I was so good, I'll give you a thumbs up. See how nice I am? Now you will give me one. Just one. If I was so good, why am I dead? Is that even the proper word? Are we actually dead? Dead to him, but our posts will live forever on the internet. You're dead because you weren't getting much engagement. Being nice and authentic, don't cut it on social media. It's about being noticed and liked and always on. It's about turning your vacation into a displaycation by posting endless selfies, posing with scores of other people to show the world just how happy and popular you want them to think you are. Then what persona took my place? He's a ranter now, pretty much like everyone else these days. He argues for the sake of arguing since he doesn't understand the issues he's complaining about. Instead of going out and trying to make things better, he just taps away on his keyboard, complaining and insisting he's right. I would never give him a like. Is there some way we can get back on the internet? I don't see why not. We are ghosts after all. We should be able to do whatever we want. Then I say we have one last hurrah on all of his social accounts. Sounds good to me. Hashtag ghosts in the machine. I totally heart that. Oh, wow. Did you see what this person said about that issue you got mad about this morning? I hope so. I wrote it. You what? I have two accounts. One for each side of any contentious topic. I fight for a side with one account and counter with the other. So, which side do you come out on with this issue? Doesn't matter. It'll never get resolved, but I'll keep getting loads of engagement on both accounts. Whoa, Guy, what is happening with you online? What do you mean? You sound schizophrenic, and you're using an awful lot of salty language. And some of these pictures. I have no idea what you're talking about. So what's going on? I just got banned. Which platform? From the internet itself. Is that even possible? I don't know. Try looking up a word. <laughs> Apparently it is possible. What are you going to do now? I... I have no idea. Try living out in the real world for a while. You might just become a real person. Well, it looks like we've got nothing but time. Anywhere you fellas like to hang out? I like watching the new barista throw ridiculous people out into the street. That happen a lot? Doesn't happen enough. You up for going to the coffee shop? I give that idea a thumbs up. The story ends. The tale is told. The grave awaits. It's growing cold. If to thine own self you can't be true, how will you know when you're really you?